on um interacting with the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff in yomba special school i realized they had a lot lot of pressing needs it's so sad so yes um if you are watching this and you are listening to this you can go to my page on um facebook jane olives um uh, the link is there the interaction we had with yomba um the head mr tutu and the other staff with their challenging list. it's so sad and heartbreaking yomba school uh special school is supposed to be a boarding school but because of uh their lack of amenities for the school they are currently running a, a day school uh, as you are talking now they don't have water in the school uh, every week they have to us at last year we went there every week they buy water uh, from the from the truck 450 i'm sure by now it has been increased and a lot of uh, other pressing needs so we like once you have gone there for a second touch then why don't we organize to do a borehole for them to help solve their water um, challenge and yes we can't do it alone um I would, I'll, 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 I'll depend on you for your support, financial support especially, so that this year our focus and our aim is to get Yomba uh, Special School a borehole. And I mean, from the inquiries I made, they have the manual, the, the one that uses um, electricity, and then they have the solar one. But I, I, I felt the, the one that uses the electricity is, will be more convenient for them. So currently, we want to raise funds um, to uh, do the electrical uh, borehole for them so that they can have water in the school to help them. Their washroom, their kitchen. I mean, sometimes they have to depend on rainwater for food. It's it's not the best. It's, it's not the best. So um, for them to get the clean water and also to ease that burden on them, we want to do the borehole for them. So uh we i pray you all support yes please uh, the flyer is there my contact is there any amount you want to support i mean the inquiries i did the borehole depending on the size uh, some is nineteen thousand, some twenty thousand plus and all that so our budget is to raise thirty thousand. yes for the plumbing works and all that so to be on the safer side we are uh, our focus is to raise thirty thousand Ghana cedars. and the last time i did per the exchange rate it was around two thousand and four dollars it was around that the last time i did the exchange rate it was around that was about three months ago but currently the dollar has shoot up a bit so i think it's going to be around two thousand two hundred and something usd uh, to uh, construct the borehole for uh, yomba special school so um yes i'll i'll thank you mama sheila for bringing this up uh, i will take this uh, honorable uh, opportunity yes so that um you all support us you support us i mean wherever you are you want to support us so that we make this a, a success yes make this a success and when they have the water uh, whenever they are refreshed our lives will also be refreshed so Yes, this year the September project is to construct a borehole for Yomba Special School in Tamale, Ghana. Thank you, Mama Sheila. Amazing. So you need like three thousand US dollars. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. I mean, I mean, yes, when you're able to do that, I'm sure we can still get them some um, essentials as well. Once the borehole is, is done, I mean, whatever money is left, we'll do. Uh, will add essentials to them because they have a lot of needs. How the, 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 the school don't have um, beds for their their whole, their boarding house. The, the bath that the school using currently has broken down, and it's it's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. Yes. Um. And once again, if you are a group or individuals that you want to touch or fix any of their needs, meet any of the needs of Yomba Special School. Yes, I don't have to be in the picture, really. Aside the borehole we are, we are trying to construct for them, if you are attached, you want to be a blessing to Yomba Special School, yes, you can contact me. I'll connect you to their, the, the school head. Uh, they need a bus. The school need a bus. They need a, a, a field so that they can have uh, sporting activities. They need um, teaching materials for their creative class they need items they need um, 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 
a whole lot. Their kitchen needs to be furnished. The last time we went there, the kitchen is there and it's deteriorating because uh, there are no appliances there. So they cook outside the, the kitchen using um, wood uh, fire. Uh, the, a whole lot, a whole lot. And I'm pleading with everyone, wherever you you see this broadcast, if God has blessed you, uh, you would want to be a blessing to this school. It's a school for uh, persons with disabilities and special needs. I mean, the last time we went there was so emotional. I wish I had some millions in my account too. I mean, they have a lot, lot of pressing needs. And want to give it up to um, uh, Mama Cynthia and Shining Star. They're doing a great job. But this is not one person's job. We all have to um, hold parts, parts then. We, we 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 have it um so so that we, we bless this once but i understand